Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing another ink from Birmingham Pen Company. Uh, this is the nice little box this uh, ink comes in in Birmingham Pen Company Pittsburgh. Nothing to say on the box what ink it is. Uh, that is labelled on the bottle and today we're looking at Pop Art, P Pop Art Purple. Uh, this is full title is A Cat Named Sam Pop Art Purple. Now if you are familiar with Warhol's work, Warhol did a lot of like uh, little minor pieces about cats uh, named, named Sam um, and this purple lines up with one of those. Um, let's look at it on some cardstock. So here it is on a swatch card. You can see it's quite a deep purple, um, and there is some feathering on this card. It is sort of cardstock uh, that is supposed to be fountain pen friendly, so uh, it gives you an indication as to what the ink will perform like. Um, but you can see that nice dark purple, a hint of grey and those sorts of things in it. Um, let's look at it on some paper. We'll start with it on Tomo River paper. This is the 68 GSM Tomo River paper in the Bond Travel Gear notebook, which uh, is no longer made, but a great notebook. Let's start with these five points. Uh, first, it's affordable. Uh, I'll cover the pricing slightly later, but this ink comes in particularly when you buy the bigger bottle from Birmingham Pen Company at really great prices, um, which is cool. Second point, as I said, it matches the Warhol cat. I'm, I'm not, due to copyright and stuff like that, I'm not gonna show the image, but you can Google it and see. Um, I've called this a dusty gray purple, just because there are some beautiful undertones. While it does stay purple, there's a lot of purple inks that end up turning a little bit gray. And this is sort of one of those, it's got some nice little gray undertones. I said it's nice uh, for writing on Tom or River and those sorts of papers. So high, you know, really fountain pen friendly papers like the 90 gram G, uh, Clairefontaine, uh, things like probably Graffalo and Midori paper that are quite ink resistant. This is going to write really nicely and particularly the super smooth papers. Um, you know, it does work quite nicely. And then the fifth point is that it is in-house. So in-house, they now make their inks themselves. They used to... Uh, uh, have them made in Germany, uh, and recently they changed to making their inks in-house themselves, which I highly, highly commend and hope that they continue to evolve that process and develop it um, because they have such a wonderful palette of colours, Birmingham Pen Company. Let's talk about the performance now. Um, so what I've said is that uh, it, this ink feels somewhat dry. So when you're writing, you don't get like a super lubricated writing experience, uh, which is sometimes the case with these sort of drier uh, purple gray inks. Um, but it performs like a wet ink. So it absorbs into paper like a wet ink and we do get some feathering because of that, as I said, some feathering and bleed. Um, it cleans well. It's not super like densely saturated ink. Uh, it flows and doesn't stain or anything like that flows better in a broad than in an extra fine, I feel. Um, and I said it's got an interesting depth of colour. The extras here, there is some shading. If we look up close, you can see that there is some shading, particularly in the uh, in the finer nib. We see some shading where it's not laying quite down quite as much ink. Um, there's no sheen, uh, and that should say shimmer, not shade there. There's no shimmer. Water resistance, um, there is a little bit of that grey left behind, that sort of very grey purple. It does move around quite a lot. This is not an ink I would suggest you get wet. Uh, the water resistance is not super high. And actually the chromatography kind of shows that where we get like, a, you know, a, a gentle sort of pink left behind, which is what we see moving around here. Uh, and then sort of the reds into the blue, which allows for that sort of depth of purple. Let's look at it on some other paper. I'm going to reverse the process today and we'll start at the lowest end. This is the uh, student notepad paper. There's almost uh, that grey, blue, purple there. Lots of feathering. Uh, this is not fountain pen friendly paper at all. Uh, and the reverse shows lots of bleed. On the standard copy paper we have here, uh, it's a little better defined, but there's still a bit of bleeding, uh, feathering, sorry. Um, we see that the colour is a bit more muted and on the reverse, once again, quite a lot of bleed, even from the extra fine. So this is, I think, an ink best used in on higher end paper. Um, and now we have it on Rhodia. And the Rhodia, what I've done here is I've actually uh, got the pop-up purple. So this is the cat named Sam pop-up purple. And I've put next to it the original pop art purple, which is the Andy Warhol pop-up pop art purple. That's actually harder to say than it should be. Um, pop art purple uh, from Birmingham Pen Company. This is the one that used to be made overseas, and this is the one that's made in-house. Um, you can see 
that uh, the color is a bit more vibrant on the original. It's a more sort of like violet purple as opposed to that sort of gray purple. Um, it performs well on the page, but and if we look at the uh, the new version of it, uh, we actually sort of can see some feathering on the line, definitely on the swap there, I'll put down a lot of ink, but even from the broad nib there, and even a little bit on the far extra fine where we get, you know, put a bit more ink down, we are getting a touch of feathering occasionally on Rodia here. If we look at the reverse of the Rodia page, apart from even where the drops and the swab was, um, where I put down a lot of ink, like in the little, you know, scratches and stuff, we do get a bit of bleeding coming through. But we also get that occasionally from the uh, original formulation as well. Um, Rhodia 80 gram paper is kind of like the standard for a lot of you know fountain pen uh, and ink use. Um, so that's interesting to see. For the color comparisons, um, I did use the old Pop Art, Pop Art Purple uh, purple as well there. This is the uh, the new version. You can see it's much sort of grayer. And then the Waterman Tender Purple is the uh, the outside comparison that I've put there. So you can see it's definitely on the grayer end of purple. It's not particularly vibrant, but it does, as I said, line up with that cat named Sam purple quite, quite perfectly, actually. Time for the nitty gritty now. Price. This is the 30 mil bottle, as it says there. So from Birmingham Pen Companies, from the actual website itself, the 30 mil bottle retails for nine US dollars, the 60 mil for 14 US dollars, and the 90 mil for 90, 19 US dollars. So, super value, uh, 90 mils for 19 dollars, that's almost double the amount of ink you get from other retailers, other smaller ink you know, brands, for around the same price. So, great value, and of course, because it's their own brand made in-house, that's why these prices can be um, so amazing. Score. I've given this two scores. 3.5 is based on the cold hard facts. There is a little bit of bleeding. There is a little bit of feathering. Um, it does feel a little bit dry. There's low water resistance. All these things bring the score down ever so slightly. Um, the fact that I, it, it's got a good color, it's got you know good value, all of that sort of stuff means that it you know it's not a complete. Um, loss but three out of five for that but the four out of five i've given it is my personal score based on how i use this ink i do normally write on tomo river uh, paper or midori paper or rhodia and while rhodia there is occasionally feathering and a bit of bleed on things like tomo river it is really really nice um it feels nice on the page it's not super wet so the dry time isn't super you know extended or anything like that and uh the color i think looks interesting and the shading looks interesting so what i have said is personally i prefer the original that color for me is more exciting um but this is a still still a nice color it's got as a good depth interesting tone and things like that so this was birmingham pen company's pop art purple the new formulation of their in-house ink uh the cat named sam uh pop art purple from Birmingham Pen Company. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email which is listed down below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, I would love to to hear from you. A big thank you to Birmingham Pen Company for sending this and other inks out for review. Um, it is very, very much appreciated and uh, I love, love, love the colour palette uh, that Birmingham Pen Company have. So thank you for watching. Enjoy your pens and your ink and I'll talk to you soon.